Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Are you Here excited? we are. <laughs> <laughs> are you excited? I'm excited. Yes. I've been wanting to make this bottle, so I'm excited. Hi, Deb. How are you? Hi, Ar Ari. Oh, well, this looks totally different. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so you have you guys have me and Robin with Robin's song this evening. So I'm seeing a couple names on hello, 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 hello. <laughs> some of them must be yours and some of them must be mine. So I see quite a few of mine. I'm not sure who a few of them are. Oh, Chris Montoy. Hi, Chris. Hey, Aracellus, Laura Hall. Hello, hello. Yes, we we'll have um, Pat Thompson is my mom. Um, Hi, mom. Yeah, we'll have joint comments, so it's kind of confusing because Nicole and I are together. Hey, Diana. Hi, Monica. <laughs> hey, Jade. Well, listen, Nicole and I met online. I know that sounds crazy, but <laughs> for the crafting world. <laughs> And we're convinced we're sisters from another mister, right? We both like yes. Marilyn. <laughs> yes, yes. And I saw her making a bottle, y'all. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to make a bottle. And then she loves Marilyn Monroe. So, yes. Yeah, so she's I'm making a Marilyn bottle and I'm making an angel bottle. Because I'm like, I love angels. So I love that you're doing an angel bottle. Hello, yes. Monica. So, yes, this was the bottle that I made that she decided she wanted to start making bottles. Yes. Hey, Carol. Papers. Yes, yes. Well, yes. I guess we will get started, huh? We will. So, I'm going to just go ahead. I already prepped this bottle somewhat. I want. I need to put some more paint on it. So, this was like an old bourbon bottle. And I already put a coat of the Folk Art Pearl white metallic on it after I had primed it. So now we're going to use the Paint Couture Sheer Bliss because I'm obsessed with Paint Couture now. And this is the paper we're working with. So I will go ahead and start. Hello, Miss Rebecca. How are you? I know you've been excited, Deb. So you tell them what you're doing. This is going to be like, we're going to have to kind of wing this in. <laughs> Yes. Um, so this, um, this is an angel envy bottle and it's beautiful. So I'm going to use this bottle and I have also prepped and I use the pent art bonding primer um, on this bottle. And so I just put it on except for the wings. I wanted to keep the wings. Um, and I, I wondered wanted, if you were going to do that. That's awesome. Yeah, I want to keep the wings. I do have molds that are wings, and I may lay them over the top of it. We'll see. But um, I may also pour paint inside my bottle to Ooh. hide the words on the back backside. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll do some fun stuff. And I'm going to use, I have two papers. So I'm going to do both of these bottles eventually. But tonight, I'm going to use this angel here. And then I also have this angel, so it'll be a pair of bottles. Oh, how fun. I know. Miss Rebecca, I did get your happy mail, and I thought it was my decoupage queen order. I opened the box, realized it wasn't my decoupage queen order, realized it was your happy mail, so I do not have it opened yet. I closed it right away and said, oh, I'm supposed to do that on a live. So we'll do that. I'll save it, and we'll do that on a live, I promise. Chris, it's an Angel's Envy bottle is what my bottle is. All right. So um, I'm going to, in case you're new to decoupage, um, you know, I know a lot of you know how to do it, but I'm going to water cut my paper um, because it blends better. So I'm going to first just start by just getting the white edges off. And I just take a paintbrush with water and I just go right along the edges here. And then it just comes right off. If if it has a hard time going through, you can do it on the back side, which is easier. Sometimes some of the papers have a slick surface, and so it's hard. Yep. Yep. And then That's it just okay, picks right up. Yeah. 
So take this off. Bottles are addictive. Yes, they are. I've done so many. I used to do, I still do them. Uh, I started out doing a bunch of bottles and I love, love, love bottles. And actually Monica, who's on here, she loved my bottles. Oh gosh. Well, and the bonding primer is key. So that's one product that you'll definitely need is, is some sort of bonding primer. I've tried a lot. I, I sell a uh, paint couture bonding primer, which, which I love um, for furniture, but for crafts, I really like the pent art bonding primer the best. I haven't gotten it yet. I wanted to order it last time, but well, we all know how my order, you know, I, I'm like, I got to split my orders up. I want too much. So Girl, you should have messaged me and said, send me a sample, please. And I would have. <laughs> I do if I have it open and, and I, I have all kinds of sample jars, I don't mind giving samples. Aww, <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. I'll be like, I need a sample of this, a sample of that, and a sample of this. Listen, one of my customers did that. She had like four things she wanted, and I didn't care. I had them all open, so I don't I don't mind at all. Oh, how funny. Okay. I'm just figuring out how I want to place her um, on my bottle. So I'm thinking I don't really want to lose um, a lot of her, but you know, you're limited to bottle space, of course. Correct. Yeah. That's so where place I'm, that. That's where yeah, I'm place kind of looking at this one too, because I picked a wider bottle. I wanted to use one of those beautiful, like decorated bottles I have, like the older vintage fun shaped ones. Yeah. But um i'm like yeah she's not fitting i can't i couldn't fit her whole face onto it and then i found this bourbon bottle and i was like yep and i was gonna use that angel that same bottle you were using and then the more i looked at it i was like this bottle is gonna work out better so yeah hello gwen how are you darling um and guys we're so sorry if we don't see you all come in here now with two of you two of us on and everybody coming in it's uh it's a little harder to see the comments, but I'm trying. Yeah. And I, Ron should be down here in a minute. And he's my comment reader. I'm a little bit spoiled to Ron reading comments. You so are. I, I am. So this is that paint couture in that, what is it? The sheer bliss. I don't. Sheer bliss. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to, I just did that all on the back and on the sides. And that's what we're doing on the neck of the bottle. I'm going to let that dry for a hot minute. And then, so I have all kinds of, look, I ordered the big one too. So I got the big Marilyn. <laughs> I, want a, I want an even bigger, bigger one. But so Marilyn is just so well known for, of course, gems, jewelry. So I yes. have all, I also have an addiction to it. So I specifically ordered a bunch of jewelry specifically for a Maryland bottle. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to be using on this. It all depends, but I have all this fun, beautiful. Oh. And I'm thinking I want to go with this one. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's very old school Marilynish kind of style. So the minute I saw that, I knew I had to have it. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to um, start decoupaging my paper on. Um, just checking my comments right quick. Listen, oh, yeah. I, um, so what I'm, I'm going to do. blow dryer on here. Wrote, you'll be fine. Okay. They can yeah, I'll be dryer. fine. So I'm going to use the decoupage varnish and mat and to apply the paper to my bottle. So... I like chip brushes because they're cheap. Just covering my whole bottle here with some, a nice, even, not too thin, but not too thick. And then lay your paper down. Rebecca, I want to see a picture of your husband's bottle. Ooh. She said her husband did a bottle, the same bottle you're using. Oh, wow. Well, I'm 
One tip, if you um, if you have a corner or a circle, if you'll rip your paper, it will do better um, because decoupage rice paper especially is so forgiving. Um, so if you just give it a little tear, um, I'll show y'all here. If you'll just give it a little tear around your corners, it'll lay down better for you. Just a little tip there. So I'm just tearing it to go around my corners. Oh, okay, Rebecca. I, mis I misread it. Hello, Carmen. Welcome in. So you got me and Robin both doing a bottle together tonight. Two for one. So see how um, I'm going around this corner, and when you when you tear your paper, it just lays down better for you, like that. So. Just a little tip. Very pretty paper. Oh, it's now gorgeous. I, now I and hear you. The, um, <laughs> now you need this paper. Yeah, I need all the papers. <laughs> yeah, it's addictive when uh, new papers come out and I have to pick which ones I want to buy because I can't always buy all of them because sometimes there's in the new releases there's like 70 papers yep i'll be like um i want all of them please <laughs> i feel you hello Rhonda. how are you so ladies if we don't see all your comments i'm sorry i'm trying to catch them but we're both we got people coming in from both sides Yes, and if Ronnie gets down here, we can make him read for us, can't we? <laughs> sure. Yes. Let's say. So these papers actually came from Robin. Yes. Both the Maryland paper and the one she's working on. She has both of them. What is your... So is my paper, the name of it is Cult. I don't know why. That's just what it is. Um, but it's a beautiful angel. And then there's this one, too, for those that just popped on. And this one's called Scene 0129. So they're on my, they're available in my shop. <laughs> Deborah's already shopping in your shop, she said. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I got my paper on. So pretty. I'm going to dry now. I'm just tearing the white off of my paper. Just taking a paintbrush with some water. So who else on here is a Maryland fan? Me and Robin definitely both are. Yes. I am making a Maryland bottle, Joy. So her shop is actually, her page is actually, um, I posted her page on my page. I don't know how to, Terry, are you, I don't know if they're able to pin that on here or not. But if not, I will post her on my page as well. Look how pretty she is. Oh, thank you, Joy. It's nice to meet you. I think it's great because 
Nicole is a great person and I've just enjoyed meeting her. So I think it's great that our um, people that watch us can meet each other. So, yes. So Carmen, if you look a couple comments underneath you, you will see Robin song shop uh, underneath you. Thank you for pinning that, Terry. Thank you. So sweet. Okay. I earlier um, poured these out of resin. Um, and these are just IOD molds. I don't sell IOD molds. I sell LeBlanc molds. Um, but I use these just because they fit my bottle better. Um, and then while it was still flexible, because when you pour resin, it'll be flexible for for a few minutes, like literally okay. like five minutes. And um, I, bend it, I bent them to the shape of my bottle like this and I taped them down so that it dried to fit the bottle like that. That's one thing I have not played with yet is resin. So I'm, I haven't uh, been brave enough. Well, we can always pop on, a, um, <laughs> pop on together and I'll show you how to do it. I might do resin tonight if I need it. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh boy, I just um, buy your I just buy your castings. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do sell the castings. It's so much easier to me. <laughs> really, I like heavy body gel to apply um, my trim, especially if it's heavier, because everything sticks with this. So I'm going to use okay. that. Okay. So I'm going to use just Mod Podge. Because I have yet to get the stuff from Robin, which now I'm going to, I've learned I can get samples. Yep. So we're just applying the paper with Mod Podge. Now we're not going to get this whole paper on here. I want her face kind of centered in the bottle. And guys, if you need me, hi, Miss Kim. If you need me to move my camera, please say so, so that you can see better. I know you got a split screen, so it's a little harder. I am, somebody asked where I was from. I am from Blairsville, Georgia, which is the very tip top of Georgia um, near the North Carolina and Tennessee border. So North Carolina is about four miles from me and Tennessee is about 10 miles from me. That's I where I'm I at. really need to come visit you. Oh, it's, it's beautiful here in North Georgia mountains. Yeah. It sounds like it. Yes, we had a retreat here last year, last year, I think it was last year, maybe. Anyway, so a lot of people that I know came here um, and it was wonderful just to get together as crafters and craft. That's awesome. Hello, yeah. Miss Jenny. How are you? I'm so excited to see you back. Uh, Deborah's in North Georgia. Oh, Hi, B. How are you? What what town in North Georgia? Hi, Kellyanne. I use baby wipes all the time, y'all. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I have mine sitting right next to me. Absolutely. Crafter's best friend, right? Absolutely. All right, so I put the whole paper on. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take water right around where I want it to come off. And I'm just gonna tear it right off the face of the bottle. Hi, Ari. Oh, yes, hello to Otis. So everybody's gotta say hi to Otis. <laughs> I told you, I was trying to tell her earlier that everybody comes here for him, not me. <laughs> yes. Well, Ron should be down here any minute. Hopefully I hear him walking around upstairs. Oh, <laughs> you guys will love Ron. Yes. He's, he, he is my helper for sure. He's the one that got my YouTube channel up and going today, which I'm so excited because I have a lot I of friends. I just saw who, that. Yeah. I have friends who aren't on Facebook and they're all like, I really want to watch you, but they don't have Facebook. They work for the, like the Board of Education and stuff. So 
Mom, Meow Meow is asleep in the chair. Otis is too big for the chair. <laughs> okay. Girl. I just attached my molds, so they're on there, and they will just need to dry. But this dries fairly quickly, so by the time I do some other things, it will be fine. One thing about resin, too, if you heat it up, it becomes pliable again. But it is flammable, so don't, like, heat it to the point. I heated it one day till it was smoking. So <laughs> that's what scares me about resin, is I saw somebody do that, and now I'm scared to use it. Yeah, but I mean, I literally have done it so much and I even, it even was smoking one time, but it didn't catch on fire. So I don't think it, I mean, I think it can happen, but you know, I don't think it happens easily. <laughs> I heard flammable and that was it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, You're like I, not for me. I asked you on your live the other night, would you uh, just make me resin castings? That would be why, because I was like, oh, it's flammable? Okay. <laughs> Ronnie is in the house. Hi, Ronnie. Whoa, good evening, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> now he can read the comments on my side anyway. I don't know if he can see both, but anyway. All right. I am. So are you guys answering these questions that all these people are asking? Yes, some of them, yes. Right. No, like, where are you from, Robin? Yes, I answered that did already. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what did you say? Because you may have lied. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for sprinkling. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she said the Treasures and song. I love it. I love Ari. She's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And in the background, you guys, we have the most bl blessing. It's just such a blessing. Um that we have Terry in the background answering yes. questions too. <laughs> yes, she is. She's been she's been so supportive and helpful to us. So. Hey, I like the fact that it's closed caption too. So, but how does that translate to Appalachian? <laughs> how does that work? Is that is there a? I know I saw English and then I saw other stuff, but Appalachian wasn't on there. All right, I'm going to blend. The funnest part, right? Blending. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to blend. Look at that Maryland bottle going on there. I know. Isn't that crazy good? Crazy well, good. Ron, you wouldn't give up your Maryland bottle. So well, I you know, there's, there's certain. Yeah, Ron. <laughs> We're blaming we you have, for that. We do have an entire bedroom of uh, dedicated to Marilyn Monroe. So. Yes. So what I do, what I do when I blend is I just take paints and I, and I just lay them out and I try to look at my background colors and say, what colors go with my background? And usually I'll look at the lightest one first. So I have like this creamy yellow. So I happen to have this Spanish sunrise, which is a paint couture paint color. Um, and I'm going to start with that. I am. Thank you, B. Appreciate that. Gosh, sometimes I'm telling you, I don't wipe my tops off and I can't open my paints. That's a tip for you. Always wipe your tops before you put your lids on. Yep, I've been learning that a lot lately. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Or how about put your tops back on before you move the paint because you'll spill the paint. Oh, well, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? That's my favorite one. <laughs> All right, so I'm just dabbing. I like to use stencil brushes. Um, the first coat really doesn't matter so much, um, but on the subsequent coats, it helps. Um, or, or a stiff bristle brush, I think, when you're blending. Yeah. If you're stipple blending, helps a lot. I'm not sure I like this yellow, but that's okay. I'm gonna. I can cover it. Covered up. It does have a tinge of yellow. And it, that's the great thing about paint. If you don't like it, so what? Paint over Just it. paint over it. Yeah. Correct. So, yeah, you sh don't worry too much about it because you really can't break it, right? You really can't, you can't it. break it. I believe you can break it if you try hard. <laughs> well, you, with paint, you can't, like, uh, not literally break, but, like, you know, you can't hurt it if you. If you don't like the color. 
a little Vaseline along the rim does wonders to ease the opening. Oh, of the of the paint. Uh, of the paints. Oh, yeah, I just, that would be we've already gone way past the other stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to find a lighter color like a um, So French putty has a little tinge of yellow, but it's more of a taupey, so I think I'm going to go with that. All right. So we got her Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. That bottle's perfect. It is perfect. So I'm going to put Mod Podge right over. It is fun to see us together. <laughs> <laughs> we were laughing so hard earlier trying to figure this whole thing out that I wasn't sure we were going to get through a live without laughing. Uh -huh. My, my computer skills? Yeah, not so much. Terry is amazingly patient and smart. Oh, like I don't yeah. know how she sat through that because I was like, I, I was ready to throw my phone through the window. <laughs> I'm like, so we oh. made it. And then somebody told me there's a time zone that I got to set on Facebook. No one told me about that. <laughs> yeah, because her live said it was going to be at like 11 o'clock tonight because she has her time zone and her settings set wrong. Wow, but she, she, she hadn't figured out how to change it yet. Oh, I, got you. I can't find it. So if anybody knows where it's at, holler at me. Holler. <laughs> because I will not be able to do events at 11 o'clock at night. So you're, so you're, your Facebook time zone is set for Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> if it's five hours, it's five hours later. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go back in. Time. Wow. I'm just going to go back in with this more neutral color because it's a little yellow, but I wanted the yellow like in the background, so I'm not mad about that. But um, I do want to tone it down a bit. All right, so I just put Mod Podge over top. And we're going to dry that. Thank you, Gwen. And I'm going to go ahead and get my molding. And this is French putty that I'm using. Had a little yellow on my brush, so that's all right. Perfect for anything, not just the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, just so you know, Nicole, is um, the way it works is I can order large format papers in a window from the first to the tenth of every month. So okay. um, just remember that. And it takes about a month for them to come in. So yes. if you ever want a large format or anybody, that's how that works. Perfect. I'll have to I may start carrying some large formats, you know, in stock, but, um, you know, I well, can't do too many. So I had pulled out. Oh, I wasn't showing flashing things on her. Yes, I am a huge, huge Maryland fan. So what I need to find is some princess dye paper. That's what I need. Ooh, yes. Maybe we'll put a bug in the decoupage queen's ear. I'm, I've been trying to find my Princess Diana haircut picture so I could share with y'all. Because I have my haircut just like hers. And I thought I was just something special. <laughs> I love it. I was like 13. Aww. My mom remembers. I begged my mom, please take me to get my haircut like Princess Di. Oh my God, I love it. It was so cute. All right, these are going to be too big. So this is the top I picked out for this. It's not round. Ooh, not very pretty. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this is we're going to do those diamonds. And then I have 
don't know what I did with it. I had it right here. Here it is. So I love, she's, when I think of Marilyn, I think diamonds, gems, pearls. This is like a vintage one that I got from Ooh. a antique store. And I know they're beads. They're not, you know, pearls. But they're super old. I could tell just by the mechanics of it. So I think we're going to use that on the on the bottle as well as that one necklace that I picked out. Yeah, I didn't attach the knob. Wow. I do have some scrap paper. And one thing I want to say to you about scrap papers is I could technically rip this paper and piece it on here. As a matter of fact, I'll do that so y'all can see it. So always save your scraps because you'll be amazed at what you can do with them. So I'll do that. And, you know, if you're not a, if you're not, if you're afraid of blending, this is a great way to cheat blending. Yes. And it's use your scraps. So this is gonna Why crazy. not? Chris said that uh, Nicole just opened her desk drawer and it looks just like yours. <laughs> oh, not shocking. I am it's always, not shocking. I'm always telling people, do not judge me by my desk drawer. <laughs> right. All right. So I just put a little more um, of my medium on here and I'm going to lay my paper down. So for those of you who've never done this, literally, you will not be able to tell where I piece the paper. It, that's the beauty. Don't cut your rice paper, tear your rice paper, and that will yes. give you the um, blending. Ever. Yeah. I may even have enough to cover this. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? This is going to seem crazy, but I am actually using, I will show you guys in a moment. I'm going to try to attempt to put this on this bottle because I'm going to paint these black and then I'm going back over them with that pearl white so that it kind of blends in that paper so my would you bend pieces were too big and i wanted to do kind of like a swirly around this so i'm going to show you guys what i'm using here in just a moment y'all are gonna think i'm crazy where did i put it well i can't use it or show it if i don't have it in front of me um, <laughs> Oh, that sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I got these. They're stickers from the Paper Studio ooh. section of Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Yes, so, we're very familiar. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are. So, I know this seems crazy, but I always tell anybody, if you're new to watching me, trust the process. So, I stuck it right up there, and we're going to line that the the frame of this paper with those but we're going to paint over them and blend them into this bottle and into this paper well that's looking amazing right so you can't even tell how i piece this paper on here nope that's the beauty of rice paper and i'm sitting right here in the same room exactly so no no camera games right nothing no magic no lens magic going on that's right so they always say, save all your scraps. I do art journaling too. And I use my scraps a lot for art journaling. And art journaling is fun to um, just, you know, just create from your brain, really. Yep. A free like, it's not something I really, I do. Um, I played with it for a while. Mm -hmm. But. Not your but thing. Yes, that, that rice paper is definitely. I love, love, love blending with it. Oh yeah. Because I'm not a painter. I'm not, I, I will, I will say yep. that out loud. A painter, I am not. Um, so I love rice paper for that reason. Yeah. I, I'm not a painter either, Nicole. So, but I just, um, I can dab blend and stuff, but don't ask me to paint a um, barn or anything like that. Right. Oh, but you sold a barn painting. <laughs> I did in my booth. I painted this barn painting. It was one of those, you know, how you go to the little studio and you drink wine and you paint. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I painted a barn and I put it in my booth for some crazy price. And Ron's like, you are not going to sell that for, for that. <laughs> there, is an, there is a Robin original in someone's home up there. 
they're thinking it's some kind of grandma Moses kind of deal thing going on. And it's like, you know, if they peel them, pull it back, there's going to be like a 12 and a 14 and a 22, a paint by number thing. I thought it was beautiful. Oh, it was gorgeous. Oh, my word. It was a, it was a gorgeous piece of uh, paint by number yeah, stuff. It was great. It's like selling a puzzle, you know, that you put together and collapse. So now, because I know we're not going to, I'm not going to finish this on one live. Hi, Jenny. So I'm going to put a couple of these on. I will paint a few of them and kind of show you where I'm going with this. I'm all ambitious over here, like, like I'm going to finish. <laughs> Listen, my bottles, that's the one thing I tell people, like, you know, I mean, I love doing my bottles. Don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of times they're not a one live project. Yeah. Well. I'm being all ambitious over so here. I don't know what will happen. We kind of piece that together. And we're just going to, instead of using moldings, I'm cheating and using this. I am using grounded, which is a brown color, to go back in and to kind of just hit some areas. And just to blend a little bit. And a lot of my thing is too, you know, everybody always wants to craft with bottles and, and do bottles. And, you know, some people don't have molds on hand. They don't have yeah. you know, some of the supplies we can get, or they don't have access to it. So, which is another reason, like, I was like, well, I'll pull these out because this is an option. You know, you don't have to have everything that we have on hand you know yeah. and, and i don't have a ton of molds i'm just started really getting into the molds i mean i have several but i don't have anywhere near what robin has um, <laughs> after she told me what she had i was like well all righty a little jealous i'm coming to her house <laughs> come on we'll just we'll cast molds all day it'll be well worth the trip <laughs> And you can take it off on taxes as a business expense. Okay. Trip. <laughs> Do we really have to make molds all day? I mean, I want to see Tennessee. Oh yeah, we could we could go um, junkin, and you know when you need to come because it's on my bucket list, and nobody will go with me is when they do the yard sale. You know what I'm talking about? It goes from like Alabama all the way up through Kentucky. What is it called? The something hundreds of miles yard sale. Get out of here. I, no, I didn't know nothing about oh, it. Oh, girl, I'm going to send you the Facebook link. Oh, Ron, looks like you're, you, looks like I'm coming over. Oh, you know, you're very welcome to come over anytime. I'll just not, I'll, I won't go to those yard sale things. Not at all. <laughs> our house, our house looks like a yard sale. <laughs> oh, well, him and my husband will get along very well. Absolutely. Because yeah. we both, we we have sympathy for each other. Yeah. So did you see the checkbook lately? Yeah, I saw the checkbook. Ron doesn't even ask. He just I don't. Me do it. I don't want to know. I want to I want to <laughs> leave this world without knowing how much I owe. I, I really do. So Deborah just said she's been to that yard sale, a hundred mile yard sale. I want that's to that's out. the one. Yeah, it's like a or it's more it's it's more than a hundred mile. It's like forever because it goes literally from Alabama, Gadsden, Alabama, all the way. Well into Kentucky, like they say it takes days. Get out of here. No, girl, we, we'd have to rent a, a U-Haul. <laughs> mm, yep, probably one for each of us. <laughs> wow. No, I'm, we're just going to end this live right now before <laughs> things get too crazy. <laughs> Come on, Ron. This live sponsored by U-Haul. Yep. All right, I am going to put a top coat on my um, bottle because I want to protect it um, from glaze. I'm going to use glaze on my molds, um, and you're going to love it if you've never seen glaze. Um, if you've never seen the glaze, and there's all kinds of colors of glaze. You can make your own glaze, but I like my favorite color is, and all my people know. Van Dyke Brown. It's my fave. I did order the Pent Art Brown, though, because I wanted to try it, because I heard it was wonderful. So we'll see. Hi, Patty. Welcome in, darling. 
If you're watching me and Robin, I'm doing a Maryland bottle. She's doing an angel bottle. Oh, things are falling. Things are falling. Ron's destroying the room. It's yeah. me, really. <laughs> it's Robin. What did you do here? I spilled it. No, you did. I feel like that paintbrush had color in it. So I feel like my paintbrush that I had on my clear had color in it. So I'm just wiping it back. It's all good. I was like, um, hmm, my girl's not clear anymore. Let me wipe that back. Nothing harmed, though. That's the great thing about paint again. Let me get a new paintbrush. That's what you get for leaving paintbrushes. I put my paintbrushes in bags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I don't think that was a clear paintbrush. But that's well, okay. I put my top on because I want to give it time to set while we're painting those oh. swirlies, kind of that black color. Just you can leave it, babe. I'll just take the I'll just take this off. The paper. Yeah, so okay. it's all good. Don't worry about it. So don't don't try to wipe. Don't try to clean up my mess. Okay. I spilled my top coat on the table. Just trying to earn my keep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. I have a uh, brown craft paper down, so because I'm messy. I'm gonna dry her up, and then we're gonna glaze. All right, I'm just trying to find a brush small enough. Patty, I have your crowns thrown. That's the Highway 127, world's largest. World's largest long, yard sale. Yes, Highway that's it. Highway 127. That's it. That was Laura Hall. Thank you, Laura Hall. Who told us oh, Laura knows. Laura, honey, it starts up there by you. So, oh, well, near you, not far, really. That's where I kind of wanted to start is like Gadsden. Um, what happened to that stuff that was sitting right there? Right here. Can I see a minute? You can. I just got to get out of this flat. So. <laughs> Hello, River Hill Crafts. Welcome in. Uh, there you go. What about the two that was right here? There you go. You're really going to bling that up. I'm going to bling it up. Ooh. So just to show you what I'm going to use, Nicole, is I've got these two. Can you see them? Yes, I have. Well, I have both of them. I had that gold one is what I wanted to use on that Maryland tray that I made. But it didn't sit right. And look at this crown. I might use a crown. I might. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Ron said, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I don't know about that. That's his, I don't know about that voice. <laughs> hey, Ron, the more she puts on her projects, the less is laying around, and now we oh. can go shopping. Fabulous um, idea. Yeah, thank you again, Nicole. That was, that's, not, that's <laughs> not what we're trying to achieve here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here I go. This is... Um, Van Dyke Brown, my fave. And I'm just going to, I like to use chip brushes because they're all ratty yes. and uneven. Yep. And I can push it down in there. That's my fave thing to do. So it reminds you of me, ratty and uneven. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. You're a mess, Ronnie. Well, I'm ratty and uneven, obviously. Okay. Very welcome, Patty. And it's weird because I can see some of my comments on my phone. So I got to keep looking up, I guess. Because they don't all show on my iPad, which is fine. At least this is a big comment section that I'm staring at. Um, I Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get the comment section up without, and the picture too. So, but I don't have my computer. I just have my phone. Yeah, that's what I'm looking. That's what I stream off of, too. And then I have my iPad next to me, but the one up in front of me off my phone, I can see very well. So, oh, well, I just I guess I didn't I don't know how to get both. See, look at you with your technology. It just popped up, girl. I didn't figure that out at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like, 
it was a happy accident is what that was yes now if that if my facebook would change the time to normal people <laughs> time uh, that would be a great happy accident <laughs> There'll be some Facebook consultant popping on in a little while to tell you how to do that. Change your time zone. Yep. So you just wipe back until you like it. So there's no right or wrong. And I am going to go over this with some metallics. So it's not going to stay like this. So I'm just um, wiping back till I like it. You can wipe back almost back to the original color if you want to, but. And do the other side. Oh, that shifted. Look at that. Oh, it did, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. I probably need to tape it on there. I think so. But I can't glaze and tape. That's Not okay. Moment. I'll get it. I'm trying to find myself a super tiny. So, see, I just painted those black, and then we're going to go over it with white. Ooh, that looks gorgeous. Wow. That's amazing. That is amazing. See? And yours will be completely different than mine, and that's what I love about hanging out with crafters is because everybody's is different, and everybody's is beautiful. Yep. So now we can trade, right? <laughs> you can trade. <laughs> oh, it'll be a Maryland bottle trade. Maryland bottle swap. Yeah. What are you going to do with our Maryland bottle? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I haven't decided. I mean, I could make another one. It's not like I can't make another one. We'd have to find another bottle like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly like that. It's curious. It's just sitting up on your Robin song shelf. Yeah, I, I could put products. it in the Maryland room. Yeah. Oh, meow, meow. Meow, meow is about to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those of you that are um, on Nicole's page, meow, meow is a stray cat. There's 18 of them outside. And I decided Meow Meow was my favorite. And Ron said, of all the cats outside, that's your favorite? Anyway, he's not a Meow Meow fan. But Meow Meow comes in the garage um, at night and when I feel like it. Anyway, and Ron spends all his time putting Meow Meow out. Which I just did. <laughs> and I put Meow Meow in. It's a never ending. I'll get up at 3 o'clock in the morning if I know he's out and he didn't come in. And I'll say... I'm going to go let Meow Meow in because it's a little bit cold. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm going to dry this a little bit. Well, Ron would be kicking me out because if I uh, if I was over there, not only would we be buying two U-Hauls, but I would have kitties all over the house. <laughs> I know. I got heat lamps and I made them houses. There's like a cat condo out there oh, with all these houses. I love it. I tell everybody they're not my cats. They're not my cats, but I'm going to take care of them. It's not their fault. Right. Exactly. And nobody wants them because I think they're like three to four years old, all of them. They're like a whole colony of them. Aww. But they're sweet. Okay. Now, I'm just cleaning up a little bit. And I, too, am going to use, we have sheer bliss and sheer gold. Sheer gold would actually be beautiful on this. Um, but I think I'm just going to stick with the sheer bliss, and I'll show you the difference. Um, this bottle. Hi, Wanda. Has sheer bliss on it which you can see it's clear like it doesn't but this bottle has sheer gold on it and when i move it you could probably catch a hint of gold flecks in it so i think i'm going to just go with the sheer bliss i do like the sheer gold though hey chris montoy 
if Meow Meow was worth $97 million, it could it could just live in the garage all it wants to. She said that Taylor Swift's cat was worth $97 million. What? Yeah. Get out of here. That's what Chris just Montoy said. Taylor Swift's, Swift's cat. cat. I cannot believe $97 million. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a celebrity. Somebody broke in and stole their cat one time or dogs or something. I think oh, it was, they were, they were, some, oh, it was a, yeah, it was, was dogs. Dog. Yeah. Was Man, a, somebody stole my dog. Mm. We, we have was, problems. Yeah, it'd be going down. I loved my puppy dog I had. All right, I'm going to put some sheer bliss on here. It will completely change your paper. I'm going to try to hold it up while I do Are it. Are you putting so it right over the paper? Yeah. Get out of here. No. Get out of here. Right Are over it. As my, yeah, as my top coat. Girl, it changes everything. Well, then. Mm -hmm. It's ultimate sparkle bling. Oh, well, I might be changing my whole mind here now. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not going to be able to finish this on a live, but you guys kind of get the idea. And then we're going to go over this. I'll show you guys. We'll go over this with paints. And I'm going to actually, because I want to bring, there's going to be a lot of silvers and gems in here. Mm. I want to bring some of the stardust onto that black. Ooh, stardust. And it's that beautiful paint that I used on last night's project. I saw your last night's project. It was great. Stardust is my favorite metallic because is it's it? not gold and it's not silver. It's kind of in the middle. It is in the middle. And that's why I wanted to kind of pick it. When I first, I'm telling you, if you could have seen my face, the first time I brushed that on that black, I was like, you got to be kidding me. So now if I put the stardust on here, is it going to do the same thing? Will it still have that sheer color? Yeah. Okay. So I can blend that into the paper too. Yeah, this sheer bliss will go good with stardust. I actually have stardust out as well. Shocking. It's funny because I ordered the tiny, like, the small paints. I need, like, gallons. What'd you say? I said I need to buy gallons of that paint. Oh, I know. It comes, it may come in a gallon. <laughs> but can we afford the gallon? Is that, is that true? Hey, if you're going to use it, might oh as well God. buy a gallon. Wow. Probably cheaper. I'm thinking, I'm thinking my Maryland room needs to be painted in this color. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah Cross said she didn't know if you saw her reply. Uh, uh, her reply that she lives in Fort Oglethorpe, Ringo. Oh yes, I didn't see your reply, hon. So thank you so much for telling me. Yes, I know exactly where you are. And Laura Hall, who I don't know if you can see her, but she lives at Signal Mountain, so she's not far from you either. And she's a fellow crafter. Absolutely. Yes, I met her at a retreat and we just we just hit it off. All right. Now. Now I have to make decisions. Decisions, decisions. Oh. I know, right? Decisions are the hardest part. It is the hardest part. Um I need to decide on some trim options. I don't know what that goes to. It goes to that. Got so many things plugged up over here. I know it's a wonder that the lights are still on. <laughs> I'm what my husband says too. He's like, how many heating tools and all the stuffs do you need? I'm like, lots. Lots. I bought this at the wedding section of Hobby Lobby and it's just pearls and they come. Yes. 
Yeah, they come like um, in a strip. So I just wanted to cut a little sample. So I'm thinking of maybe putting a, a strip at the bottom and you can choose how many. And this is uh, totally dazzled and they have rolls. I'll show you the roll. Oh, you, yeah. Hey, uh, Terry wanted me to let you know, Robin, that if you hit the comment icon on the right side, you can see the comments. On the right side. Yeah, yeah. Robin's a little. Uh, I'm dyslexic. Yeah, she's a little. <laughs> I, did, I have to do an L. A My mama taught me that. Directional challenge. So. Do you do the left right thing? I, I do like an L, like I hold, and the L is left. So my friends, when we drive, and I, I'm always making L's. They're like, "Oh my god!" Were you able to do that? Did you see? Come around here. Come around there. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've done a live before. I'm not chicken. We may do Velvet Elvis together. We're well, probably going to do Velvet Elvis together, yes. Or I could do this. I kind of like this. What do you think? What do y'all think? I always like to do by consensus. Do you want bling at the bottom or do you want pearls at the bottom? What do we think? I like <laughs> pearls with an angel. Yes, I think so too okay. because it's it's not, the bling is a okay. little bit, yeah, che not cheesy, but oh, you know. What? No, not for an angel, babe. Call me cheesy. I didn't call you cheesy. I, call, I, I didn't want you to make the angel cheesy. <laughs> She's an old school angel. I That's think. exactly right. Old school angels. You're my vintage soul sister. I love, love me angels. If you can't tell by half of my projects. I know. Angels in Maryland, we're all good. And yes. I, I think I told you... Princess Diana, when she died, literally, I'm, I cried for days, days and days and days. It was horrible. Yeah. I traumatized my daughter. Oh, my word. Because she was like, oh, my God, what's wrong with my mom? Because she was young. <laughs> she didn't know what happened. <laughs> Hobby Lobby has glass containers, 50% off. What? Yep, that's like Chris said. said. When I drive, it is blinker up and blinker down and follow arrow. Oh, that's my mom. Did my mom say that? Blinker up, blinker yes, down. Yes, your mom said that. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's how she does. Because she dislikes it too. <laughs> oh, my God. Blinker up, blinker down. Blinker up, blinker down. Do I want to use hot glue? Would be? I don't really want to use hot glue. I'm going to use, he you can use hot glue, but I'm going to use heavy body gel because nothing in the world will come off with this stuff. I'm telling you. It's like amazing. I'm definitely going to have to order that. Yeah. This is the matte one. Or just get some samples. Yeah. Just get some samples. Just message me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just put it all on here and then I can wrap it. I see. This is the fun part when you get to bling it up. Whoops. I'm going to have to stand up. I'm going to have to stand up. And the oh, bling is going to help me tell me what to do with my molds, my trim. That is, that's a little wonk. Well, what do you I get mean? it. Yeah, you'll get it. It's, yeah, you're going to take the wonkiness out of it. I'm going to take the wonkiness out of All it right. in a minute. It's that technical crafting term I've learned. Technical crafting wonky. term. That's a little wonky. Okay. Yep. I'm going to get it in a minute. All right. So that's now where the black was is when you covered it with that. What color Ooh, is it? That's gorgeous. Yeah. It toned it down. That's pretty. Yes, it did. Going back to New York. B, you travel a lot. I love it. Wow. I have never been to New York, but it's definitely on my bucket list. I would like to go to the Adirondack Mountains in New York. Well, you've been to an airport in New York. Well, that doesn't count. No, yeah, it does. No, you it doesn't. You flew into... <laughs> Thank you. My oh my gosh. That's my friends. We flew into <laughs> Al we, we flew into Albany on our way to Vermont. 
So I, I drive to Vermont a lot or I, I especially drove to Vermont. I, well, I've driven to Vermont several times. I used to do rescue. So I've driven through there and I can't say that a word area. Uh, what's it called? What is Here. it? I don't know. You just said it. Where'd you go? Oh, Al Albany? No. Adriandax. Al Al the, uh, Adirondacks. Adirondacks. Oh, Adirondacks. Yeah. When I hear somebody else say it, I can say it. Um, <laughs> but I've driven through there to get to Vermont and driven through New York. And don't ever get lost going out there. I'll tell you that much. Oh, gosh. You drive for hours. But it is beautiful out there. There are parts of Georgia that are the same way, that if you get lost, you're just going to be in the middle of a cornfield somewhere. Yeah, and you're lost for hours. I mean, there's, yeah. no open, there's nowhere to go. Oh, goodness. Like dog rescues? Is that what you do? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Bless you. Is that where you got Otis? Otis was originally a rescue, yes. Yeah. Oh. I got a dog one time. Uh, Ron had gone to London on a trip and I decided we had been talking about getting a dog and I wanted an inside dog. Anyway, while he was gone, I just you wanted took a lap my, dog. I took my opportunity and I went and got a dog and I got a beagle. Aww. Ron was like, I thought you wanted a oh, lap dog. A, lap dog. a beagle is a hunter dog. And I'm like, well, you're going to make it a lap dog. They're lap dogs. I've rescued oh. the beagles. Oh, yeah. They're so sweet. You used to camp there, B? Oh, how pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. I need a little bit more right there. All right. I'm doing it. I'm going to be brave. I'm painting over Maryland. What? Oh, yeah, oh, you're doing. Oh, you're putting the uh, sheer bliss. Sheer bliss. Yep. Oh, I'm don't worry about it. You got this. You'll be fine. I'm going for it. She said, oh, "Look, I'm being brave." It will absolutely be be gorgeous. Yeah, it'll dry. You'll see. It it completely changes the paper. Deborah said the Poconos in Pennsylvania is gorgeous. Also, oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Y'all, I have on my bucket list Door County, Wisconsin, and people think I'm crazy when I say that, but I heard it's beautiful, so. Rightfully so. <laughs> Rod is not like a fan of going there. He's like, eh, it's not high on my priority list. To let you know that there truly is a higher power in this world, uh, our trip to uh, Door County, Wisconsin was canceled because of <laughs> COVID. COVID. Which, no way. Yeah. It was the greatest thing Ronnie. that happened. To me. What? It was true. It was my fiftieth birthday too. Everybody that Aww. I asked, and I said, uh, do you, where, do you, where, "They said, where are you going?" I said, "Door County, Wisconsin." No one knew where it was. Why do you want to go there? Nobody. Everybody wanted to know why we were going there, and and all I had to say was because my wife said we're going, and that they were like, "Okay, all right." But now I do what my wife says. I do what she says. All right, I'm drying my glue. The pearls was the right thing, Nicole. You had, they had several people say that the pearls. All right, now I'm going to do, I got to figure out what I'm going to do up here because my molds are, see my molds are kind of just end. So I have a couple options. Of course, I have a couple options. Chris said Traverse City in Michigan. I've heard about Traverse. I've actually heard of Traverse City. I had a friend that uh, bought a house up there. Really? Yes. Who is that? The guy I used to work for, Chris. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes, yes. You told me that. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to do a couple molds. So this is the IOD mold, too, that I have. And I'm going to just take some um, cornstarch. Yeah. Never brought up a good point. Not a lot. Not a lot of people who know means not a lot of tourists. However, oh, however, point. I did when we did Google the, uh, Dora County, Wisconsin. It's, popular. it's a very popular place. It's beautiful. It's on Lake Michigan. And I think Michigan, right? I don't it's know. one of the Great Lakes. I don't know. which one. There's only five. And it's got wineries. That's all I needed. Wineries. Wineries. All right. 
I do love that paint right over that paper. That you do? That is beautiful. See? All right. I decided I need a couple, a little bit more movement on my bottle. So that one, and I have this one. All right, here we go with the heavy body medium again. So now I need to figure out diamonds around. This bottle topper. And then what Laura now? Hall said you would love the Finger Lakes in New York. Ooh. Yes, that's beautiful. Wineries galore. Nice. Yes. Maybe New York will be our compromise. I gotta set this up where I can see it. You mean yours and my compromise? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> That usually Rob, does not work. She'll go anywhere you want to go. You just take us to that yard sale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> take us to the yard sale. That's right. How's that look? Oh, okay. Well, once I paint it, of course. Uh, well, of course. Maybe I should meet, make them meet. I think that's what I should do. Yeah, something was a little off. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. Let's check that. Ah, much better. Much better. See that? So it's kind of like wings up there. Okay. So I am, I'll have to let that dry overnight. Mold, uh, clay mold. Well, maybe. I don't know. One thing about clay, <laughs> one thing about clay, if you don't know this, is that heat will make it um, shrink. Yeah. Well, if it dries too fast, it'll crack. If you like the cracking, it's okay. But if you don't want it to crack, oh, well, there's the rest of my clay. I opened another clay because I couldn't find my clay. And now here it is. Showed up. Not like I won't use it, though. And I have a bunch of options for tops. Oh, my Lord. I'm dropping a brush. I'm telling you. Let's see. I... Kind of. I kind of want to go with a neutral top versus the blingy top. Does that make sense? It makes yeah. twins of sense. Do you have like a little like off white, antique white? I can make it antique white. I have this one. Antique, like chalky kind of. There's there's your top. What you think? Is it too small though? Is it, is it gonna? I mean, I could put a mold around that. There you go. Let's see what this one does. Which one do you like better? Did I like better? Yeah. Probably the first one. Hang on. Put the paint over. Oh my god, I love that. Look at it shining. So I'll pay, I can paint that white. Ah, uh, yes. See that? See that, Nicole? Isn't that great? Yes, I love that it. That is a that's amazing. I kind of like this one the best. It is amazing. Now, one thing that I might do is you can see the name of the liquor. Oh, I think that one. I just I'll just paint this one. Look, what do y'all think? And I'll just paint it white or off white. And then bling it up. So okay. what is your favorite clay, Robin? They're asking. Jovi. Yeah. I just got my Jovi clay in, so I haven't played with it yet. Yeah. The reason I like Jovi is that, uh, so there's other clays and like, I feel like, like Doss is too wet. I feel yes, like, very. Um, I feel like IOD clay cracks too easy and okay. dries out. 
fast. And I feel like Jovi is just the perfect amount of moisture. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, I got, you finally got in the like bigger packs. I was like, yes. Yeah. I got to reorder again. Is it gone again? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Jovi. I got. I have one big pack left, though. I still have a pack, but I'll I'll be placing another order. All right, Nicole. Do you have a time limit? Like, do you? Uh, I think it's been oh, it's been an hour and eleven minutes. So, I usually do anywhere between an hour, hour and a half. So one hour. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm good with an hour and a half. Okay, cool. It'll give me time to put this bling right here and then we can pick out a necklace and I'll just keep working on it. And then I'll post the finished. Like I said, sometimes my bottles, they take, because I do a lot of like, I don't know, it depends on the bottle. So this one, I definitely want to do a lot of gems on. I just painted this top because it was brown and I don't like it. That's okay. And one thing, so what I was saying that this bottle, you can see the, um, you can see the alcohol name through it. So I'm thinking I'm going to pour um, brilliant white metallic in the bottle and then lay it down tonight and let the white cover the back so that it's, metallic white behind the wings and you still see the wings yeah that's what i think i'm gonna I'll do it'll, it'll cover up that the words on the back but it won't i'm using white intentionally because if i put a dark color even though i have two coats of primer if i put a dark color in here i'm just afraid it'll darken my angel and i don't want to do that all right so I am thinking, so I get all these beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's it. That's good. Oh, that's not it. Where'd that pretty necklace go that I just had? There it is. So I purposely order all this from my friend. She sells paparazzi and I'm like. Oh, I looked at her page the other day. You can go to a vintage store and that's great. They have beautiful jewelry because I'm actually going to mix some vintage oh. in here. But some of this just screams Marilyn. And although I'm thinking this might not work on this bottle. Maybe it will. Maybe, 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 maybe. So I have a. It's where you get to get all your bling out. I know, right? My favorite part. Right, mine too. Oops. Do not want to drop the bottle. Uh. Don't drop the bottle. Don't ever drop the bottle. Now, one thing I'm going to do, Nicole, is I remember this bundle that I bought for $4.99 at the um, Hobby Lobby. Look at all those browns and yellows. It's going to go perfect with my bottle. I'm going to tie some of this up here, too. So cute. Oh, yes. I do want to do something to my molds. So let's me. Hi, Becky. How are you, darling? Where's the lint? Oh, there it is. So I'm feeling like I want to do stardust. One thing about paint couture metallics, depending on the, some separate more than others, but you want to stir them. I just buy a pack of um, popsicle sticks and I stir them um, oh, because really it's like got mica in it. Then I'm going to find something to put right at the top of that bottle topper. Oh, that's beautiful. Like, um, like you could, right here. What about some of your tie scrap things like this? Like just a bundle of them. Yeah, I'm thinking possibly. 
I actually want to put diamonds up there is what I want to do. Oh. Thank you, Ari. Hi, Kathy. Welcome back. I'm just brushing stardust on my mold just to give it a little sparkle. And, and stardust is a metallic paint couture. It's not gold and it's not silver. It's kind of in the middle. It's beautiful is what it is. It's, it is beautiful. It's my go-to. I like that it gives that almost antique look. Yeah, it, it definitely does. And it's great for papers like this that aren't gold and aren't, you know, I mean, I've got both gold and silver going on, so I don't right. have to be married. And the Maryland paper to me was a silver, like it screamed silver. Yep. But this bottle is a little warmer. Nicole, don't burn your fingers. <laughs> and you always have your things, but you never put them on. I never, ever, ever. They're sitting right in front of me. They're I, they're in my little paint, my paintbrush thing right in front of me. And I never, ever put them on. I don't know. One day I'll do it bad enough that I'll learn. <laughs> One other thing, um, and, and I can get it, but I can get like... Um, wooden i think it's not would you bend but it's a, a brand of it i'll show it to you like if you don't do molds um they have this um flex i forget what it's called but anyway it's this if you have access but i do i can order some of this i um, mean you heat it up and then it's pliable this is great too if you don't have molds you could use something like that Yes, yes, I know. So it's kind of like the Would You Bend, but it's a different name, right? It's a different brand, yeah. yeah. And I, I'm trying to think of what it is now. I've just started playing remember. with it. I just saw it for the first time um, a couple weeks back. Yeah. All right. Hi, Kathy. I see you, darling. It's looking good, huh? Hi, Lisa. I feel like it needs a little bit more pearls to balance it out. So far. But I love that paint on that Maryland paper. Yes. You're you're addicted now to sheer bliss. I'm beyond addicted to it. You're welcome. <laughs> I know. I'd be like, honey, I got a problem. I need some help. I, I'm addicted to the sheer bliss. Yep. The bedroom's getting painted this way. <laughs> We're just going to have sparkle walls. You'll like it. I've thought about diamond dust. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm telling you. I've thought about it. Thank you, Terry. So I feel like what I want to do is I have a okay. white. I think I'm gonna get that with a little gold wax too. The uh, the frame. Yeah. Yeah. I almost want to hit those pearls with either stickles or actually put pearls on her necklace. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's what I. If I have any little baby pearls. Baby pearls. They might be too big though. It's definitely not wanting to open. So not only can I not wear, or I mean, not use a computer, I can't open pearls either. Girl, you did fine. You were all good. All right, there we go. I got to get a little brush and touch that up. You know, one of the amazing things for me is you both did this, these things in 
a little over an hour, right? I know. How far we came in an hour. Right. We amaze you. Is that what you're saying, Ryan? I'm, I'm so oh, amazed. Ryan. Is he being nice? Because he's scared I'm going to come over there and we're going to garage sale. Oh, this is this is not. I'm not scared. I'm just. I'm. I'm of the. I'm to the age where that kind of stuff doesn't scare me. I just go like, okay, that's okay, fine. Okay, that's okay, great. Fine. Have fun, babe. Have fun. Rhonda is off to dinner. Bye, Rhonda. Bye, Rhonda. I think I'm going to do pearls on the top. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. You yep. said really. <laughs> Deborah's amazed too. In in a little, like seriously, a little over an hour, you guys have created these wonderful masterpieces. It's so fun from too. from just plain old just liquor bottle. Just liquor bottle, yeah, exactly. We did not drink all the liquor in the bottle. No, you can speak for yourself. I don't know. <laughs> the secret is out. Oh, I don't know. This is the bourbon. <laughs> I don't drink bourbon. I wouldn't even, I probably wouldn't even like bourbon. I do like it. It depends on, it depends on like what you get. Drink. For sure. I like like bourbon mules. That's what I like. You know what's throwing me off? I don't like this bling wrap around it. Oh. Let's take it off. Well, and I'm about to destroy all the paint taking it off too. You guys always okay. wonder about bloopers. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I got to put a little black chiffon on this. I mean, black chiffon. Lord, look at me. My favorite, um, Van Dyke Brown. I can't wait to try the pent art antiquing glaze, though. I'm pretty excited about that. I do like my Van Dyke Brown, though, but it'll be hard to beat. But you never know until you try, right, Nicole? Right, yeah. That was me last night. Yep, you find a new product and you're like, oh, now I need this. Yep. It causes Dor problems. Dor Dorothy says, boy, did she mess up on the time. She just showed up. Oh, Dorothy, that's okay. You can um, watch the replay. Me and Nicole are here together. We, um, we kind of met by following each other online and then we started messaging each other and then we figured out we had a lot in common. So we just decided we wanted to do a live together and here we are. <laughs> and because we wouldn't, we wouldn't give Nicole our Maryland bottle, she decided to make one on her own. Yeah. I didn't decide. You made me make one. Ron. <laughs> she said I didn't decide. She's, but she wanted one so bad. She's like, all right, I'll just make one. Yeah, I wanted that mold, that mold, this mold kind of blended in there. I didn't want it to like stick out. I'm pretty sure you and Robin could have worked something out to go. Oh, well. All right. Well, it's just paint, right? It's just paint. It's just paint. Can't mess it up. All right. Uh, I bet if you turn it over to me and Nicole's husband, we could mess it up in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, my husband would be like, all right, let's clean the craft room. Bring it in the dumpster. <laughs> in the dumpster, right? I know. It's like, oh, no, I'm going to make, I have all, oh, my gosh, I have stuff. And I'll be like, oh, one day I'm going to make I'm something out of that. Hey. So the is thing that is, Teresa Renee? Yes, it is. So hey. the thing is, is, my husband's like this hoarder, right? Well, I don't, okay, I sound really bad saying my husband's a hoarder. But he keeps the silliest things <laughs> for now, what, now, what reason and now, now, silly silly is very very it's, hey, Ron, it depends, Ron. depends on who you're talking to <laughs> you can't say certain things are silly yes so. yes, they are. yes they are you don't need directions for something that your grandmother owned because you can't get rid of it and it doesn't work anymore and you can't order parts for it i have some of those old directions to things well, yeah, we have thousands of them. Ron was on vacation this week. So now on the in my craft room on the other side, I have a full set of drums sitting over there because he oh, got them out of the storage building. And I imagine there'll be some playing happening. But the wow. thing is, is, you know, he wants to look around and go, well, why do you need, why do you, why do you have so much stuff? 
Honey, I don't know. Why do you have so much stuff? <laughs> Mine's in one room. In a couple closets and all right. Yep. So maybe he's right, but that's not the point. I am gonna get some gold on here. Is it pretty? It's very pretty. Are y'all loving it? Bye, thank you for stopping in, honey. This is Pant Art Gold Wax. Did you, you got some of this, right, Nicole? I used that last night, actually. Oh, my uh, God. Over that white wax. Yeah. So I'm going to add a little bit of this to my bottle. Yes, Dorothy, we painted the bottles white first. Yes. They originally started just a little plain old bottles. And we use, bon I use bonding primer on mine, the pen art bonding primer. And now look at Jesse, them. How are you? And now look at them. An hour and a half later. Mm-hmm. Robin's way ahead of me. Museum uh, pieces. Museum pieces. It's like <laughs> crafting marathon. <laughs> Girl. All right. So, yeah, that's what threw this whole bottle off was that black bling trim. I definitely did not like it. Well, and you just painted right over it, right? Well, we're putting pearls over it. Oh, well, there you go. Just camouflage it. You'll be fine. I'm actually, I feel like I'm going to add a little gold. To yes, you do. I was going to suggest that very thing. You add the a little bit to the purple. The they were a little bit bright. We're a little bright. Yeah. So I am actually adding gold wax to them too. Joy's husband, Joyce said she pointed out to her husband that she didn't have to rent storage buildings to put the, uh, her stuff in like he does. Oh. Well, good point, Joy. Good a, point. He, like, he likes going to auctions. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I don't need any more <laughs> furniture. Like, And I love to paint furniture. And I am going to paint some furniture actually on lives. That's my personal furniture. Are we? And y'all are just going to have to be tortured to watch me. Are we? <laughs> yes. Are we gonna, we're not going to bring it down here, are we? No. Okay, I'm painting them upstairs. We're going to do it in the living room? That's All somewhere. right. I'm not bringing them down the stairs. No, no, ma'am. Oh, that might be our guest. I believe we have some guests. We have we have people that brought us pizza that have showed up, but um, yeah. So I'm excited. I don't even have to cook dinner. Alexa, turn outside lights on. How about that? <laughs> is that your mom? Is your mom Pat Thompson? My mom is. Uh huh. Yeah, she's like Nicole's so calm and Robin's so hyper. <laughs> Very true. That's true, Mom. True story. I'm concentrating. Usually, usually I'm not so quiet, but not so quiet. Not so quiet. I'm using E6000 to put my top on. Hi, honeys. Hi. How are y'all? My very good friends are here. Aw. Hi, beautiful. You're talking to Jody, right? I'm talking to Jody. I didn't know. I thought you might be talking to Or Steve. It's all about Jody. Okay. I'm going to show y'all what I got so far. Let's see. I made that gun an hour and a half. Ready? Amen. Can you see? I can see. Oh, now the top's I not love, done. I love, love that top. I'm going to do some gold on the top and, um, you know, blend it in. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite done with the top. But the rest of it, I think I'm happy with. Except for, again, tonight, I'm going to pour in some, um, where did it go? Hold on. It's Brilliant White Metallic. And I'm going to pour it in the bottle. And then I'm going to lay it down so it covers up these words on this side because it shows through on my angel and I don't like that. See right there. So 
the angel wings will be like okay. metallic background. I'm going to finish gluing this. But you know what I just did? I shouldn't have glued this on yet. I shouldn't have glued my top on yet. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's okay. I got it off. <laughs> you can take it off. Yeah. Um, I'm going to finish gluing this around here, and then I'll show you what I got. And then I'm going to finish working on mine as well. Perfect. All right. We'll see you upstairs. Okay. I'll be up there in a minute. All right. One more dab of glue. And I got a little fixing to do over here where I had to tear off this bling wrap, but. Don't you always have fixing to do on stuff? I feel like I always have fixing to do. All the time, because if I don't like it, I don't want to just throw it together for the sake of throwing it together. And Nicole, that's a Southern term, you know, I'm fixing to do it. Fixing to do it. Did I say that? <laughs> You meant it in a different context, but I was like, oh. All right. So I'm going to, I still want to go all the way around it with those. Oh, we just popped off. See? All right. That's okay. You guys kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. So I use That's beautiful curl up top. It's still got to be glued on. But I did literally those stickers that we glued on instead of using clay molds. I painted them black and then we painted them with that, sh not the sheer bliss. What's the other one? Oh, the, um, the, um, you're talking about the metallic, the stardust. Yes. Yes. The yeah. stardust. So we're going to go all the way around that bottle with those, those shapes. And we're going to frame that all out. And then I have some beautiful diamonds, necklaces and bracelets. We're going to put, some somewhere into Maryland. That's going to be gorgeous. I love this. So I need to figure out a way to lay this into that paper. Yeah. You will figure oh, it out. I love, love, love that paint on that paper. So that was, yeah. Step, so thank you for that. that yeah. Might be my favorite thing in the world to do now. I know. It, and it dries clear and it just changes the paper. Like it it's totally just changes the paper. Totally. Mm -hmm. it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Well, right. good. Well, well, we're at an hour and 32, so we're going to finish our bottles and we'll both post pictures. If you don't follow Nicole, absolutely. I'll post a link to her page on my page and please follow her. And I will do the exact same for Robin. So all my peeps, please follow Robin. And I will post when I'm finished with this as well. This may take me another hour or so to finish up if not a little bit longer so if i don't post it tonight i will post it tomorrow but thank you so much for doing this with me it was fun and thank you terry for having for helping us out especially yes me. <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you terry you are such a blessing and we appreciate you so much and nicole terry, thank you no thank you darling and one day we'll meet one day we'll we will day. and i'll raid your craft room it'll all be good that's perfect <laughs> All right, darling, you have a wonderful evening. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.